we have two um, major works with the House of Lords. One is the chamber debate, which we had in November, which was very successful indeed about digital democracy. This one is obviously a smaller event, just five schools, um, but it's very much the same sort of idea of getting the children's um, point of view across to their lordships because they really want to hear what young people have to offer on what's going to be a very vital issue in the years to come. Um, well, yeah, I'm looking forward to sort of have um, a say in something regarding such a global scale. I think that's important. Um, we've just been um, in class discussing different reasons about how the wildlife should be preserved and how scientists need to use the Arctic in order to develop their knowledge of how the world's working and what effects could happen in the future. I'm looking forward to hearing other people's opinions and getting to argue with them and things like that and hearing what the opposition has to say and why they say it. Yeah, I'm interested in what all the other schools have to say. Um, slightly nervous, but I think I'm excited for the overall um, outcome. So, yeah. I think they're really enjoying it. Yeah, it's quite an intimidating uh, environment to actually come into, but they're really enjoying the chance to have their say. Yeah, I think they're looking forward to the whole experience. First of all, visiting the House of Lords, uh, home of government, but also just the opportunity to stand up in public and actually make a statement of what they believe and what they think is important. I think they enjoy that a great deal. As I said earlier, just to follow on, it's a great delight uh, to see so many of you here today from the five participating uh, schools. The motion before us today is this House considers that environmental protection in the Arctic is more important than the need for economic development and job creation. And that is exactly one of the uh, uh, key areas of the report that we ourselves will be uh, uh, looking at. The most fulfilling result of the work that scientists and researchers do is coming closer to knowing how the natural world works. For scientific samples to be gathered, the Arctic must be preserved so that the knowledge of any change can rapidly broaden. But economic developments, such as mining, you are limiting the amount of natural resources and landscapes that the researchers and scientists can use. Our three main points are, one, global economic development should actually encompass environmental protection. Two, the development of sustainable energy is economically and globally vital. And three, the current drilling and mining in the Arctic needs to be monitored and reduced. The, the Arctic stores were the world's largest freshwater reserves. The area is home to many of the last substantial populations of the world's most significant and endangered species, including polar bears, walrus, seals and whales. In short, the Arctic is precious both for its animal life and the people who live there. It is untenable to argue that the environment of the Arctic can be reserved by shutting down economic development. We know that economic poverty sits alongside environment, environmental degradation and that wealthy regions can afford better environmental protection. Like it or not, the Arctic region will be developed. The issue is whether it will be done responsibly or irresponsibly. In considering this motion, we must always keep in mind just how delicate the Arctic is. Exploit its natural resources and there is a real danger of upsetting this balance with irreversible consequences, not just for the Arctic, but for the whole world. The motion speaks of the need for economic development and job creation, but whose need are we talking about? The answer is probably oligarchs, not Inuits. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd been looking forward, forward to it for a while, but I didn't quite know how it was all going to work. Um, but it was like a proper debate. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I also learned a lot more than I already did. And I just found it really interesting hearing lots of different people's views on the um, whole thing. So, yeah. Well, we had a, a huge number of uh, contributions. We had about 40 students uh, here from five schools, and the vast majority contributed some great opening speeches, um, some real politicians and uh, amongst them uh, there, and certainly some strong opinions. So it was a, a good debate, went through a number of the issues uh, that we've uh, gone through ourselves as a, a, a committee, and I hope it's, uh, we'll, there'll be one or two things that uh, we'll be able to put into report uh, from, from that.